Hey guys, I haven't uploaded a video in over a week so I'm super lazy. So I just thought I'd do this one really quickly. Sorry if you can hear like loads of banging. There's builders outside my house basically taking apart the whole front. I try and like cut it out as much as possible, but you might hear a bit bang. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make a display picture. It's literally only going to take quite a minute because it's really easy. It's not really even worth doing a tutorial, but I will. So you make a new file and the width has to be 88, height 88 pixels and that's basically it, so it's what you want, and save it as DP. Uh, then you're going to want to zoom in on it and I'm just going to warn you it's going to look really bad when you zoomed in, all blurry, don't worry about that. Uh, we use this font. Um, hmm. I'll show you how to make the one that I've got is mine at the moment. I'll show you that again. Uh, so, okay. See what I mean? This looks super blurry, but there's nothing to do about that. Sorry, taking that long. So, yeah, do that. I'm actually, wait. Like, Make it look a bit cool and say Jake, that looks shit. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, once you've done that, um, I'm going to add a lighting effect to that, because I think lighting effects look really good. So you go down, not lighting effect, lens flare, I mean. Add a lens flare, click OK. Drag it to where you want. I've shown you how to do this before. Click OK, and it will appear there. Uh, then I'm going to make some more text and put FX. And again, just going to free transform that. Really quickly. I'll show you some other ones that you can do as well. You don't have to do one like this. And click OK on that. And then, basically it actually. Uh, I'll make the background blue. Because mine's white and I want something different. There we go. And I'll add a lighting effect to that. Okay, there we go. So that's basically it. That's a really simple background. Look, I zoom out now, it looks normal. I'm fine and save that, you just do normal, save as, uh, save it where you want, make sure you save it as a JPEG. Quality doesn't you can put quality up to maximum because it's such a small file anyway. And yeah, that's it. Uh, some other ones you can make, you don't have to do ones like that, you can use brushes as well. So I go open up. I was already in it. Um yeah, you can make one like this. That's just with a brush for a arrow and lightning coming down. It's pretty bad. Um, you can also do one like that. Again, just uh, Javanify's name of lightning. And I'll show you one more. Um, I don't really need my shanks. This one's like that. All the um, renders I had last time, I think a bit too much. All the renders I had last week, so I just got a render of a skull face with this weird metal hat on, and because the only knives, I put some knives coming up of his head. Thought that was quite good. Just right over my shank. So yeah, you can basically just do what you want. Probably the only thing you need to know is the size, which was 88 by 88, and you can do that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.